Hey, welcome back. Part two. Mike Burris here with 22 Minutes Playing with God. Spiritmusicmeetups.org. Great place for you guys to meet with one another and check out that meetups page. But there's a drum tab there, and that's where you'll find a lot of this information as well. Well, we were discovering permutations, that means variations on a theme of drag triplets. The drag triplet, right, left, right, left, right, left. So check out the um, part one. So they're going to drag different ones of these. They're going to diddle it. They're going to double it. So right, right, or left, left, or right, right. Or you right, right, left, left. Or left, left, and a right, right. Or a right, right, and a right, right. So they're going to diddle certain ones, and we talked about that. Now let's talk about, you know, accenting these, okay? So let's say you diddled this and you diddled that. Well, normally, that's a great place to put the accent, wherever the diddle is. So, so there's your accent. It makes sense because you got that nice momentum and you're trapping that double on the bottom. So that's a great place to put the accent wherever the diddle is. And this, remember, tells the 64 combinations, uh, 8 here and 8 here. 8 times 8 is 64. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 8 possibilities of where the diddle is. All right, zero is one of those, no diddle. But if there is a diddle, we could also use this exact same thing to determine where the accent is. You could have eight possibilities, no accent, and seven possibilities of accents. Over the top of whatever the diddle is. So the, the diddle doesn't necessarily have to be accented, but it could be. For instance, you could have a diddle on the one position, but you have an accent on the two positions. So you're going to use the same chart to figure out the accent. Wow, what would that be? So that's a non-accented diddle. is maybe about here. So we're starting from the middle. Or you can be down here. You can have a, a really quiet diddle. There you go. So that's what I did right there. So it makes sense to put an accent on the diddle, but you could just put the accent on the group. So I'm going to accent that, and I'm going to accent that so I can hear the group, but I might have the diddles wherever else. So for instance, I can have this diddled and this diddled, that diddled and that diddled, and that's the 2-3 two, and the 2-3. But I can have the accent on the beginning. So I could hear that group. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, da, 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 da. What that is is a two, four, rolling over to the five. A two, four, rolling over to the five. It's a five stroke roll. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one. Two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one. Two, and three, 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 and one. Two, Oh, I lost it. Fives. Well, we could also, sometimes when you have a lot of diddles, um, you could decide to accent where it is not diddled. Well, we diddled that, we diddled that, we accented where it's not diddled. Well, what if this is diddled and that's diddled, 
we can put the accent there where it's not diddled. It makes kind of sense. So that helps you with memory. One and two and three. So I know now I just got to concentrate one and two and three. Four and five and six. One and two and three. Four and five and six. One and two and three. Four and five and six. One and two and three. Four and five and six. One and two and three. Four and five and six. One and two and three. Four and five and six. One and two and three. Four and five and six. So now the accents are off my beat. So you might, that might help you is, is putting the accent somewhere it's not being diddled. That doesn't really work here. You could do it here. You could say, I'm going to accent the diddle on the one. I'm sorry. I'm going to diddle on the one, but I'm going to accent on the two and the three. One, two, three. Kind of like a waltz. One, two, three, four, five, six. One and two, three, 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 one and two, three. So that might help. One and two, three, one and two, one and two, three, one and two, three, one and two. get that up. What about this? Or accent the compounds. What do I mean by accent the compounds? Compound strokes are, let's say you doubled this and you decided to treat it as a ghost as ghost notes left left right so this becomes part of the drag now the whole thing is a compound stroke so you might want to you might want to say hey i got to accent those compound strokes so we have instead of 1 2 and 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 i'm going to make this a compound stroke 2 1 Right to right, right to right, right to right, right to right, left to left, right to right. See how I'm telling your body what to do? I decided to accent the compound strokes because it helped me remember. It's all a memory tool, but it might be helpful when you're playing. Or you can use the same permutations that we talked about, this map, for figuring out where the accent is. So again, let's say we're going to diddle the first one, but we're, let's say we're going to diddle the first one, but we decided to use a two three here we'll figure this out later so we're going to diddle the first one but we're going to accent the two three one two three one and i'm putting on different sounds so you can hear that accent i'm repeating one side Let's work on doing this side, but instead of two, three, let's do just two, just two. So that side is going to be two instead of, that's, that's two, three, two, we'll just do two. So we got one. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right? So you got to think of this pattern. One, two, three, one, two, three.
Okay, the sound pattern is to help me learn the motion pattern. You might want to see if you remember that motion by going to two sound. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now the sound pattern is going to throw you for a loop. Finally, the one sound. That's fun. So accents, and sometimes I like putting them on a different sound. So there's a lot of possibilities for just learning accents. And I like variety is the spice of life. Don't eat the same flavor of ice cream every day, every night. Shouldn't even be eating it every night. My gut will tell you. What about these triplets we in the first video you know this is just single strokes and it's a triplet in single strokes but that's a forward uh front side triplet back and this is a front side triplet back side triplets because they favor the back side and this is a triple well couldn't you do the whole diddle thing on that and couldn't you overlay overlay on top of that all the different accents by the way, I call these overlays or overlayers because this is a rhythm. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. That's a rhythm. It's very monotonous. There's no spaces. There's no, it's very mundane. But it is a rhythm because a rhythm means any motion that is repeated. Any pattern that means repeated of motion or sound. So this is a rhythm because it's a pattern, a repetition of sound, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, but you can't really even tell where the groups are. Now you might tell if I went boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, cha, boom, cha. Now you can hear the groups because of my feet. But we can overlay Okay, remember overlays, those projectors, we put these clear things on this light projector, then and we could write on these clear things and it would project up on a screen what we were writing so the whole class could see the math problem or whatever. You don't see that very much because we have other ways of doing that, but those are called overlays. So we're overlaying on top of this another rhythm another repeated pattern and that would be the repeated pattern let's say there is the two being diddled one two three 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 one two so now that pattern that rhythm is on top of this so we got layers of rhythm so i there are over layers one two three 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 one now we just made the accent layer the same as the diddle layer but again you don't have to there's a lot of 64 other combinations of just accents. Now we, for instance, we could make this an overlayer. Hearing the the diddle is an overlayer. One, two, three, one, two, three. You know, really, it doesn't really stand out a lot. There's one overlayer. Now we're going to add the accent on the two position. One, 
two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to put it in the third position. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Now we have two over layers, one layer called the diddle layer, and then a loud layer on top of that called the accent layer. So you got three rhythms going on. Wow! And the ear and the music is going to appreciate that three levels. Think of it uh, sort of like you got a piece of silk, is very thin layer, very smooth, silky. Like I have some pillowcases that are satin and they're nice, cold, thin. But then I, in the winter, you know, I have some really thick pillowcases, really quilted. They're really thick, fluffy, it's nice and warm and soft. So that's called a thicker. And actually it's just layers of material. It's layers that create the thickness. So it creates a texture, a texture Whereas the silk has a very fine, smooth, silky texture. There's only one thin layer. The others may be thin layers, but there's so many of them that it, it's called a quilt. And so it's very thick texture. So think of music as uh, fabric. That's a really con I have a whole paper on that called texture. So when you take these other kinds of triplets and you start diddling these, well, you get into weird things. If you diddle just this and not this, you would have three. That's called a triple, like that is a triple. You got right, 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 left, All right? Or left, 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 right. So now you get triples. But if you doubled both of them, right, right, right right now you'd have a quadruplet so now you get in one two three four one two three four five 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 and that's what would happen with that or one two three four five 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 real chop builder to use your fingers what about pentuplets or pence well two you double that four Double that and then five. So now you got a pentuplet. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One. Real chop builder. And if you double the next one, you get a sextuplet. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One. That's a good chop builder too. So doing this uh, diddling on these kinds of triplets, you're going to get into real chop builder. What's this about? Well, we can take this diddle right here, right, right, left, right. Now, normally a diddle, you look at, you trap it like this, a lot of energy. But you can invert that double, so you make the second stroke loud and leave these alone. So we're just going to keep those quiet. Double that, make the second stroke loud, and leave this alone. And so we're going to end up with the accent on one and. So I'm going to count a one and two and. One and two and. One and two and. One and two and. Right, right. I'm going to say what I want to say. I want to say, of course. I'm going to say what I want to play. One, I'm going to say right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Now this whip, there's a whole video on inverted doubles. Go check it out. It's, it's great for strengthening your double stroke. It's also great for shuffle. So I wish I was a lot faster on that. 
And by doing things like this, I'm going to end up stronger and faster. So you might hear it by playing on two sounds. Left, left. That's very interesting. I see a very interesting thing here. Right, left, right, left. And then left, right, left, right. That's called a outside paradiddle because the diddle is on the outside. Right, left, right, left. And the diddle is on the outside of this. This is called an outside paradiddle because when you go over to here, you got a diddle. And when you go to the end, left, right, left, right. Now you got the diddle on the outside. So the doubling is on the outside going to the next beat. So that's just, see, it's all perspective. So now I can say, oh, you see, I practiced. I practiced the outside paradiddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. It's called turn around sing singles. You're just turning around. Maybe two sounds. It's still a paradiddle because there's a pair, right? So, a pair of singles. Sorry. Pair a diddle. So there's still a pair of singles and a diddle. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. So those inverted double, doubles, these inverted doubles are what you hear. What is this? Oh, I decided to double this and this, right? This and this. But I decided to do inverted doubles, right, right, left, left, right. So there's a five stroke roll. See that? Dot, 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 dot. And the other side. So now that's inverted double stroke roll. Left, left, right, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right. That's a, that's a really chop builder. I just usually... Uh, really strengthens that second stroke. You know, this is inverted doubles. But you can do... Um, we talked about building up that's going from soft to loud. You could go soft, soft. I'm going to do the five stroke roll. Soft, 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 loud. That's loud at the very end, right? That's a build up, but not much. How about this one? So now I'm, I'm making that second stroke. I'm making that second set of doubles loud. That's my accent. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the two and the three, the two and the three are now the loud. One, two, three. 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 See how it's building up? You could go halfway, that halfway point, and then halfway up, halfway full up, halfway full up. So you got three levels. Da da. Da da, and then up. Da 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 da. So that's a real crescendo roll. Versus. See, 
See how I kept that way down there? So you want to mess around with different volume levels. Then you have a burst. Burst is a release of energy. So you're going da 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 da. You're bursting and then you're coming down to bursting and then you're coming down. Okay. I think we're going to go to volume part three. We're going to cut this off. So hang in there. We're almost done. We'll do a part three.